a little weird. Hmm. You know, gotta do what you gotta do. Hey friends, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Remy and I share lots of vegan content and tips to help you live well. I also share a lot of very random videos and today's gonna be one of those. So I know you guys love my color challenge videos, but honestly I'm running out of colors so I thought we would transition into something a little different. So I had this crazy idea. I had this friend who's obsessed with the Illuminati. Every time we see a triangle, wherever we are, she will talk about the Illuminati. So I thought we would spend the whole day today eating only triangles and we're gonna call it the Illuminati diet. I don't really know anything about the Illuminati. All I know is that it involves triangles, but I think I'm gonna do a little bit of research first because I'm realizing I should probably do that before I even commit to starting this video. Okay, so I didn't really learn much. All I really know is that it's some kind of secretive group that a lot of celebrities have been accused of being part of. I don't really know what else, so I hope this video is okay to make. Oh, hi. Hi. Um, I have a really weird random question. Yeah. Because you, I feel like you know more about the internet than I do. I want to make a video about Illuminati. What do you mean? It's, like, so, it's, not, it's, it's fun. Like, well, it's not offensive, like, right? It's just a meme, I feel like. No, it's definitely a meme. It's okay, like cool. A conspiracy of the government, you know? Like, it's like a conspiracy. Oh, well. Yeah, like hmm. a meme. Hmm. Would you like me to ask my other friends yes. to get their approval? Okay, I will text in the group chat. <laughs> group chat come through. I'm just gonna be eating hella triangles today. That's basically it. It's fine? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks, that's all. <laughs> okay. Bye, I love you. Bye. All right, so it looks like we got the green light. I just wanted to check because I don't know much about it at all. So. Basically, here are the rules. We're gonna be eating triangles for the whole day, but it can't just be food that I cut into a triangle. So we're not gonna be eating like a cookie cut into a triangle, but it has to be food that is usually triangular in shape. Things that when you think of, they are triangles. Does that make sense? I don't know, but let's go to the grocery store and go look for some triangles. back from the grocery store. I think this is gonna be a little bit harder than I thought because there aren't that many triangles that I can eat because I'm also vegan and gluten-free. I saw a samosa which I was like, yes, you are perfect. And then I realized I couldn't eat that. But I think we're gonna make this work. Yeah, <laughs> fingers crossed. I found a couple of things at the store and let's get cooking because your girl is hungry. I got some strawberries which I feel like are triangular but I'm also gonna cut them into slices. I don't know, that's how my mom always cut them for me. And I feel like they'll be more triangular. And then I got some pineapple which I always cut into triangles. I didn't do a great job of cutting it this time but I feel like that's pretty triangular. I feel like just fruit is not gonna be that much breakfast. So I've decided that I'm gonna try and make vegan and gluten-free scones. I have not made vegan and gluten-free scones before, but they are triangles and I'm committed. So we're gonna do this. We're totally gonna wing this, so don't copy what I'm doing. But if it turns out well, then I will put the recipe on the blog. Otherwise, just completely ignore this because I have a feeling this might not turn out too well. So I'm gonna add oat flour, which is like the flour of choice that I use. It's gluten-free. A little baking soda. Is this baking soda? Baking powder. Adding arrowroot. Heavy hand of cinnamon. That was gross, I'm sorry. Okay, this is kind of working. I actually feel like this might work. It looks pretty good so far, knock on wood. That's not wood. 
All we need to do now is make them into triangle shapes and then hopefully we'll end up with some scones. Guys, I actually think I might have done it. They look pretty good to me. They're a little lumpy, but I feel like that's how scones usually are anyway, right? Or am I just saying that to myself? <laughs> I think they're gonna be really good though. I tasted a little bit of the batter and they tasted pretty good. And that's like the perks of vegan baking is you can just eat the batter raw. So, oven time and we cross our fingers. Let's put this on a plate and do a little taste test. They look really good. I think I might actually post this recipe on the blog, but um, let me try it before I do that. We have our strawberries, we have our pineapple triangles, and then we have our scone slash scone. I just added a little bit of coconut butter and some freeze-dried strawberry on top, just for a little color. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Not bad for winging it. I'm gonna give it to myself. But yeah, that is breakfast. <laughs> That's really good. I'm surprised this worked. I'm so shocked right now. I'm just gonna finish up my fruit and my scone and then I've gotta go ahead to a quick meeting and then I'll see you guys at lunch. Okay, I've been thinking about what I could have for lunch and it honestly took me so long. Like I've been thinking about this forever and I don't know what I could make. I think I'm gonna make quesadillas, refried beans, vegan cheese, maybe like tempeh or greens or something like that. Um, yeah, that's gonna be my lunch. I know that tortillas are usually round, but I feel like it's pretty normal to cut them into triangles, right? Like I've always had them served to me that way. I don't know, but that's what we're gonna do. So let's make some quesadillas. Welcome back to the kitchen. I'm gonna use these chickpea flour tortillas. I don't have regular tortillas because I sadly am allergic, but ooh, that is not good. Well, I have one whole tortilla and then my other one is looking a little weird. Add some shredded vegan cheese, and I have two kinds I just picked up at the store. Um, these are new to me, so I'm excited to try these out. We have our refried beans that, um, I don't know, I kind of just DIY'd it and smashed them myself. They don't look all that hot. As you can tell, I'm a professional. More beans. Ooh. Here's our beautiful quesadilla. I'm just gonna let this cook until the cheese on top melts, and then I'll add our wonky tortilla somehow. <laughs> Okay, these did not really work out well, but these look perfect. Food hack, turn your ugly one upside down. Okay, we've got three pretty good looking triangles. I turned this one upside down, so it looks a little bit more normal. And I really like this cheese. My little lunch, and then I'm gonna head to the post office. Just got back from the post office, so exciting. I'm gonna have a little snack because I always get hungry around three or four. I feel like it just always happens. Ever since I've been young, I've just always had a snack at three or four, so. I have the perfect snack for today. Illuminati diet approved. We have bean fields nacho chips, and they're basically like vegan Doritos. I'm not really a chip girl, as you guys probably know. I have a big sweet tooth, so this is saying something. When I like something salty, you know it's good. This is definitely the best flavor. If you see this at the store, I got it at Whole Foods, but I've seen it like all over the place. Get the nacho flavor. This one is like the one. I feel like they're all broken. Now I have to find like a non-broken triangle. There we go. More and then I'm gonna head to a pottery class. I'll probably leave the camera here because I feel like you guys do not care about my pottery class. And I also feel like if I bring the camera, I'm gonna feel pressured to make my ceramics like a triangle shape, which I don't want. So I'll see you guys after my pottery class and we'll have some dinner. And I'm really excited because I think we're gonna do pizza. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, I've done something so stupid. I cannot even believe I did this. So I booked a flight, or I thought I booked a flight for Thursday at midnight, and I was thinking that's basically Friday morning, but it's actually Wednesday night, which is today. Which means I have to get on a flight in a couple hours, but I still have to wrap up this YouTube video, finish one more event, and I haven't even packed yet. Oh my gosh. Yeah, lots on the to-do list, but I didn't wanna leave you guys hanging, and I had to finish this video because we've come so far already. So for dinner, I thought I would make some pizza. I tried to order some, but that would actually take longer than making it at home. I've got the oven heating up, and thank goodness I have some pizza crust in my freezer that I made earlier. It's a Simple Mills gluten-free pizza crust. I'm just gonna throw some toppings on there and call it a day. I'm kind of a mess. <laughs> okay, but really though, we gotta make this pizza and run, so I'm thanking my past self for making this crust in advance because like, I'm so stressed. All right. Here she is. 
And would you look at that? It's already cut into our favorite shape, triangles. So I'm only gonna make like two slices and I'll probably have to bring this with me and eat it on the subway or something like that. We're gonna toss some tomato sauce on here, some vegan cheese, and we're gonna call it a day. You know, gotta do what you gotta do. Okay guys, the quality of this video is just headed downhill from here. We are on the iPhone. I've got my pizza in hand as I walk to the subway. And we're eating it in the elevator. I don't know. And that, my friends, is the end of this YouTube video. Oh, is this recording? Hey guys, so I'm ending the video here. I'm in Amsterdam and I had to film my outro once I got here because as you guys know, I had a very frazzled last 24 hours catching my flight. Um, but what do you know? I'm eating a triangle as I exit this video. Exit rice triangles that I didn't have the patience or time to make myself. So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope the Illuminati doesn't come for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what triangle foods you would have eaten. I'm sure there's like a ton that I'm missing. I just, it was really hard to think of actually. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in another video soon. And yeah, that's all. Bye. There. Ow. Ow. <laughs> oh God. Cracked my jaw and then I said ow and then I inhaled. He's right. Okay, that's enough bodily sounds for one video.